praise. Amen. Man, it's good to be in my father's house. Yes. Sometimes you don't feel like you want to be where you're at, but it's just good to be here. Amen. I feel like Steve Harvey this morning. I feel good in my suit. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, it's good to feel good sometimes. Amen. Yeah. Somebody been laughing because I said that. But that's what Steve Harvey said. He said when he put on his suit, he feel good. Amen. We are going to ask you to travel with us this morning while you are sitting, look in your Bibles at the 19th chapter of the book of Luke. And the first 10 verses is what we're going to work with this morning. But before I start, I want to take you back. And, and I want to read 2 Chronicles second chapter and the 14th verse. And when I get too long in it, Brother John, you can cut me off any time you get ready. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you'll do that, but somebody told me I had the best thing in the world when I got these electronic devices, but I can't prove it. Now my phone don't want to rotate. Anyway, Second Chronicles, second chapter, and this is the second part of what we're going to say in the 14th verse when it says, If my people which are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will hear their land. The reason why we chose this 19th chapter of the book of Luke is because we need to illustrate that healing is not only done in the physical form, Man. but healing is done in the spiritual form. Man. And that the body needs physical healing. Man. And it's going to have to come from the Word of God. Yes. Zacchaeus. After I read these scriptures, I'd like to explain a little thing about Zacchaeus because Zacchaeus' name means pure. And if you go to the Beta Tubes in the fifth chapter of Matthews, around the eighth verse, it says, For the pure in heart shall see God. Amen. So you'll understand where, how this story is going to form out about Zacchaeus. It's very important that we understand that all of us got a little Zacchaeus in us. And until that's, this specific thing happened to us, nothing's going to change because the scripture says no man comes in contact with Jesus and remains the same. Amen. 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 Let's, let's begin by saying, And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, Amen. which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. Amen. He sought to see Jesus who he was, and could not for the press, because he was a little man in stature. Amen. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see Jesus. And if you don't know what a sycamore tree is, it's talking about a fig tree. Amen. Amen. Said, so for he was too past that way. Yes. And when Jesus came to the place where he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste. Come down. For today I must abide at the house. Amen. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was going to be a guest with a man that is a sinner. Amen. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. Amen. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house. For as much as he also is a son of Abraham, Amen. for the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Amen. 
Let me summarize this by saying that I'm glad that Jesus doesn't look at me like he look at you. Amen. And this is a personal relationship that we must be in with Jesus Christ in order to get the benefits of God's glory. Amen. Now, if you are not in relationship with God, by the time we're through today, we pray you will find your way to get into a relationship with him that you can begin to receive the benefits of God's salvation. Amen. Oh, he said that uh, all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord. And when you find yourself in this relationship, you start loving God more and more every day. Some of y'all in personal relationships, and every time you get away from your mate, you find yourself trying to get back to him. Because you've got a fond for your heart love for that individual. <clears throat> Let me say this about Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a man that was, had money. He didn't have need of friends because he felt like he could buy whoever he wanted. But one thing I found out, somebody said no greater love than a man than give his life for his friend. That means that Jesus is a better friend than anybody I know. Because if all of us here were asked this morning to give up our lives, we would not be ready to give up. Let me tell you that Zacchaeus began to get humble. First of all, he had a curiosity about Jesus. He was so concerned about finding out who Jesus was because of all the stories he had heard. Here's a man giving sight to the blind. Here's a man making the lame walk, making the dumb talk. He said, I got to find out who this man is. Not that Zacchaeus was sick physically, but Zacchaeus was sick with sin and the human nature. Zacchaeus needed to find out how would I get over this. So knowing and finding Jesus was a curiosity span for him, and he made his way down to find out about Jesus. Man. And as he got there, he found out that because of his side, he couldn't see over the crowd. You can imagine when you go to the movie and somebody taller than you sitting in front of you, you got to keep moving to the side to side. You can't see. You want to tell them to move because they're blocking your view. Man. Well, these people were creating a problem with Zacchaeus, and he wanted to get to Jesus. But like that woman with the issue of blood, she had to find her way there no matter what because everything else she had was gone. Man. Zacchaeus made his way there, and when he got there, he said, if I can't see here, I'll climb up in a tree. Man. One thing about Jesus, your spirit will reach out to Jesus if you're ready for a change. Man. If you are ready for a change, your spiritual man on the inside uh -huh. started reaching out. Jesus walked along, and when he got where the junior tree was, he looked up because the virtue of his spirit reached out from Zacchaeus to Jesus. Right. When you are at your last point in life, and you are going through all you can go through, when you have stood all you can stand, the humbleness of your heart began to take place. Right. I got to find something better than what I'm already going through. Right. I need something to help me better than what I'm taking. Man. You know, when you got a cold and you take a little cold medicine and that don't work, you start looking for something a little stronger. Some of y'all go get that third flu. And after you get third flu and that don't work, you run down to the doctor to get a penicillin shot. And if that don't work, you start talking about, Doc, I need something else. Well, Zacchaeus was about in that situation because he needed something about him to change because his situation wasn't happy for him. Right. When your life has transpired to where happiness is no longer among you, right. uh, let me change that word, are not in you, uh -huh. then now you've got to find a new way out. Right. Look at Zacchaeus, Paul. He ran and got ahead of the crop right. and climbed up in a junior tree. See, when you need a change in your life and you done got to the bottom, you start trying to find a way to the top. You start trying to way to get to the top. Zacchaeus yeah. ran ahead of the crowd and climbed up the tree. He said, if nothing else, I pray he'll recognize me. Man. Uh, when your troubles are burdening you down and you need a healing for yourself, you got to find something that's going to give it to you. And the greatest medicine that Zacchaeus had was if I could just get up and see Jesus. Oh, if I could make my way to Jesus, everything was going to be all right. After running down and got up in the junior tree, Jesus came along and stood where Zacchaeus was. 
After the spirit connected, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down. You know, anytime you're about to be blessed, folks start messing with you. Amen. When you get your blessing and your blessing come, they start talking about you. Uh, when he got down and began to come and say with Jesus, and Jesus said to him, I have a need to go to your house. Uh, every last one of us in here need the Lord to come to our what? House. Oh, man. But he got to start with who first? Me. He don't need to work on the family before he work on me. I need him to fix me first. Amen. Jesus began to work <clears throat> on Zacchaeus, and Zacchaeus said, okay, Jesus, come on and go home with me. Amen. Every now and then, we ought to ask the Lord to walk with us. Amen. I understand now why the elders from the old days sang that song, Walk With Me, Lord. Amen. Said, while I'm on this tedious journey, said, Lord, walk with me. Amen. Uh, every now and then, when you're falling down, trying to get away out of that valley, you ought to say, Lord, walk with me. Amen. Uh, but Zacchaeus said, Lord, you can come on and go home with me. Amen. After Zacchaeus and the Lord began to make way to his house, Zacchaeus began to be condemned in his heart. Amen. See, when you meet Jesus, things began to change. Yeah. I heard the scripture say that two men were walking along. Amen. And they ran into Jesus. And when they met Jesus, Somebody said, did not our hearts burn Amen. while the man of God walked with us by the wayside. Amen. I want you to know that every now and then when you can get close enough to make that contact with the Spirit of God, Amen. you know that things are not going to remain the same. Mercy. Well, Zacchaeus was such a troubled man that his conscience began to tell Jesus what he would do with what he had. Man. Uh, he said, Lord, I'll take half of what I own and I'll give it to the poor. Man. When you humble yourself, God will allow you to straighten out what's wrong in your life. Man. But you got to first become humble. Because yes. confession is made with the mouth. Zacchaeus began to confess about his situation. Man. Then he told the Lord, said, if I have done anybody wrong by false pretense, said, uh, I want to go back and make it right, Amen. and I'll restore him four times what I took from him. Ain't God good this morning? Amen. No matter what the enemy does to you, God will fix it. Yes. Somebody said, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Amen. The reason why no weapon can prosper because God is on the inside. All right. And when you got God on the inside, he'll work on the outside. Amen. I heard when the Houston said, no man invite the spirit in and don't act up when he get here. Man. You ought to want to act up when the spirit show up man. to let somebody know that you're giving all your praise to God. Yes. So if I, when praises go up, blessings are going to come down. Yeah. Man. So many of us are in need of some blessings right now yeah. that we ought to learn how to give praise unto the God. Man. When Zacchaeus invited Jesus home, he was giving praise to God. Man. It didn't matter that Zacchaeus was a sinner. Mercy. He realized that Jesus came to save the sinner. Man. I don't know about y'all this morning, but everybody ought to find a way to get in a relationship with Jesus. Man. So things won't remain the same. Mercy. And uh, I'm so glad in the eighth verse that he said, uh, I'll give the, to the poor and I'll take and give anything back that I took falsely. Man. I'm glad that he was willing to restore, but I want to let you know that Jesus is a restorer not only of your faith, Man. but Jesus will restore your earthly goods uh, yes. if you exalt him. Uh, for it says that greater things that you can do than Jesus have done. Man. You got to know that Jesus intend for us to be blessed of all his good and his way. Amen. And Jesus said unto this man, this day is salvation come to this house. Amen. I'm glad that one day I was out there in the world of sin Amen. and got lost of all of my directions. Uh, and uh, I did like Zacchaeus did. I found my way to the church house. Amen. And early that Sunday morning, uh, I couldn't be still. Mercy. Something was troubling me all the way through. 
never forget the day as long as I live. Man. But the old deacon stood up and said, uh, a charge to keep our hell, a God to glorify, yes. said a never dying soul to save, yes. and fit it for the sky Man. to serve the present age, well. my calling to fulfill. Yes. Said, oh, I made all my powers engage yes. to do my master's will. Yes. After hearing that hymn, uh, Something on the inside uh, began to burn like fire. Yes. It began to move all over me. Uh, and Jesus uh, yes. began to work on me. Uh, by the time the preacher got through preaching, uh, I found myself walking down the aisle. Yes. Uh, yes. And all I could hear the voice say is, come to Jesus. Yes. Uh, I found my way down there with Man. my hand in the preacher's hand. Now, but I remember the preacher said, don't just shake my hand, uh, but put your hand in Jesus' hand. Uh, and he'll lead you uh, to a way of righteousness. Yes. Uh, what I'm trying to tell you this morning, um, if you need to heal uh, your sinful ways, uh, if you need to change uh, the way things are going in your life, uh, yes. if things don't ever seem like they're going like you need them to go, uh, all you got to do is find your way to Jesus. Right. And when you find your way there, yes. the healing will begin. Church, Man. I'm a living witness. It'll get all over you. I used to hear Reverend Hill saying that song, it must be Jesus. Man. All over me, it must be Jesus. Man. He started saying I can feel it in my hand. Man. But it's all over me. Yeah. It must be Jesus. Man. Reverend Hill get to feeling good, he'll start walking and say, I feel him in my walk. Yes. Said it must be Jesus. Man. Said, look how he make me float walking around here this morning. Man. When he get on the inside. My Lord, he'll make you feel like you're better than you ever been in your life. Yes. All you got to do is do like Zacchaeus and find your way there. Man. Believe it or not, on that very day when Jesus made it to Zacchaeus' house, he didn't start in the house. He started with Zacchaeus. Man. He cleaned him up of his old way. He started wanting to give back of what he'd taken. Man. Every now and then when God get to working with us, we find ourselves ready to contribute to the ministry of God. Because yeah. we want to give back what God has blessed us to have. Yeah. I'm grateful that the healing is still going on, church. Yeah. You got to get some things straight in your life. Man. And Zacchaeus is a prime example of how to get it straight. Man. Make your way to Jesus. He wasn't like the lady that wanted to get an issue of blood healed. Uh -huh. Zacchaeus wanted to get a healing for his soul. Right. Man. Zacchaeus needed a soul healing. Yes. And he Man. made his way down there to get that healing for his soul. Man. Do you want one this morning? Mercy. Do you want to humble yourself enough to let Jesus come on the inside? Yes. Yes. The scripture said God will not dwell in an unclean house. So if yes. you're still bitter, you still got malice. Man. If you're jealous of other folks, you got hatred in your heart, Man. he won't come in. Yes. But if you open up with the beginning of humbleness, Man. Oh, he'll walk right in. Yeah. And oh, what a change he'll make. Yeah. Man. Oh, will you try him this morning? Yeah. He didn't die on Calvary's cross for us to not be joyful. Man. He didn't die for us to be sad and miserable all our life. He died that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Man. When he died on Calvary's cross, he got up and went down in the grave. Man. When they buried him in a borrowed tomb, he got up. He said, all power is in my hand. Man. God got power to change anything that's going on with you. Man. I want the world to know that we need to stop thinking that we can't be changed from where we are. Right. God can change. Somebody sang this song, Man. oh, what a wonderful change has come over me. Man. He said he changed me. Yes. He made my life brand new. Yes. Man. Oh, what a wonderful change yes. has come over me. Man. Ever since Zacchaeus met Jesus, I can imagine the change that made in his life. Man. And look what it done for him. And he was rich. Man. He wasn't selfish no more. He wasn't self-centered no more. Uh -huh. It wasn't about building his kingdom no more. Man. He started giving to those that needed to come up from where they were to where they is. Ain't you glad that God, or aren't you glad that God would bless you when no one else will? Man. God will use some of the strangest people in the world to stop by and give you a blessing. 
When you think everything's about to fall apart, somebody will come along Man. and just start blessing you. Yes. That's the kind of God we serve. I don't know who wouldn't serve a God like that. In my worst hour, he helped me out. Man. Look at the lady that had nothing left to eat. The man of God stopped by and told him, said, make him a cake. Uh -huh. She told the man of God, I'm going to be obedient. And I'm going to make this cake, but I got nothing left to eat. Man. Me and my son going to eat this last and die. But look what happened when she went back to the barrel after making the cake and look. Man. Said, fill my cup, Lord. Let it overflow. <laughs> Tell me the, the, the barrels began to overflow with me. Yes. And she hollered out, didn't God stop by? Man. I hear somebody say every now and then, won't he do it? Yes. yes. Look what he done for that lady. Yes. Man. The psalm said it is not a secret of what God can do. Man. But what he done for us, he can do the same for you. Man. But the only way that's going to happen that you got to get the humble humility in your heart. Amen. That you began to let God take control. Yes. And he will heal that that need healing. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May he keep you till we continue in this healing lesson next week. Amen. 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 Try Jesus. He's all right. Try Jesus. He's alright. Say, try Jesus. Ooh, he's alright. Right. Try, try, <coughs> he's alright. Say, try Jesus. Ooh, he's alright. Try Jesus. He's alright. Just try Jesus. Bless the offering that we receive. Bless all that give no desire to give. Yes. Yes. Bless them, O oh God, for you said you're going to be windows of heaven to pour out a blessing. Yes. They will not have room enough in their heart to receive it. Yes. We ask that you do this in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. We say thank God and amen. amen. amen.